I'm Tim, welcome to Watch One, and thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Romain Jerome Moon Invader Pac-Man Limited Edition of 20, 46 millimeters in PVD black and stainless steel. This Moon Invader is available for purchase on our website, watchyouwant.com. And if you like these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. Now, I've showcased this watch in the past, but I wanted to revisit it because it's a rare watch that really warrants a box shot on our channel. I usually focus on the watch itself, but sometimes the accessories are just so unique that they deserve a second glance, or in the case of this watch, a first glance. But first, the fit. Now you can see the image of Pac-Man, the cherries, and the subdued ghosts is the highlight here, but you can't get around the fact that this is from Romain Jerome's Moon Invader series, and the case itself, though massive, is inspired by the actual architecture of the Lunar Lander from Apollo 11. So you can see the little plot points that actually join with the strap. Now each of those is mounted on a ball joint that is itself Teflon coated. So while this 46 millimeter watch is massive, it also has the happy ergonomic solution of featuring almost no lugs at all. So it wears very easy, even on a small wrist. Now, make no mistake, it's a little bit of a tower, it's very thick, but it's also very comfortable and very planted fittingly. There are two things going on with this watch. There's the Moon Invader series, which is part of a collection inspired by the Lunar Lander, including spare parts from Apollo 11 and incorporating some moon dust elements. And then there is the Nameco Bandai authorized Pac-Man theme that's going on. Now, 80 of these watches were built in limited micro batches of 20, featuring different combinations of the cherries, the ghosts, and of course, the uh, titular Pac-Man. And you can see that in this particular variant, you have the highlighted cherries, the subdued ghosts, and of course, Pac-Man. So we have to assume that the ghosts now being in a subdued color uh, are running from Pac-Man and he's on the offensive here. But what all those characters have in common is that they feature a special lacquered treatment so that in person they have exceptional gloss and they really pop in direct light. So they have almost kind of a an iridescent quality to them. They almost seem to be backlit when you see them in person, especially the eyes of the ghosts. All of them are directed at Pac-Man and they really pop. Now the backdrop is a special layered construction. You can sort of see it in the light of the light box here, but it has a sort of pixelated maze grid pattern reminiscent of the actual Pac-Man board. And the watch itself is kind of a a postmodern idea in that we're already referencing in nostalgic fashion that which is considered to be part of modern pop culture. As collectible as the original Pac-Man arcade games are, they're far more common than this particular watch, which is evocative of kind of the golden age of arcade and early computer games. You might have played this watch on, or this game on Atari. You might have played it on Commodore 64. But the bottom line is, this is part of the permanent cultural heritage. I think at this point, these older games live forever. Tetris, Pac-Man, Space Invaders, people pl still play those today. When was the last time you saw someone playing original Warcraft or Command and Conquer? Yeah, I thought so. So this watch has an enduring appeal. Even though Pac-Man was released in 1980, it remains uh, something that's sort of a focal point of pop culture and instantly recognizable, even to those who may never have played the game. Now the watch itself is also a unique piece. As I mentioned earlier, inspired by the actual form of the Lunar Lander, the moon references are a little stronger on the case back than the dial side. Now here you can see a piece of sterling silver that's actually impregnated with moon dust. The Romain Jerome DNA series has incorporated everything from pieces of stainless steel DeLoreans, another 80s icon, to pieces of moon dust to elements of the Titanic itself. So it's a bit of an eclectic and a little bit avant-garde concept Definitely controversial. This watch strikes perhaps a less controversial figure than the Titanic DNA, but it's also arguably more recognizable. Now, most people aren't going to realize why you're wearing a watch with a rusted bezel, but when people see Pac-Man, the ghosts, the cherries, and the grid of the Pac-Man maze, not to mention the subdued Pac-Man logo at 6 o'clock, they're going to instantly know what this watch is all about. Automatic winding, water resistant to 100 meters. This is an easy one to wear, and with full skeletonized minute and hour hands, you can always get a glimpse of the action lying just below. This is a fun, postmodern, see it and smile type of watch, and it gets a lot of compliments. It's also a very comfortable watch. In addition to the virtually lug-free construction, there's a very substantial natural vulcanized rubber strap attached to it, and a gorgeous twin trigger double-deployant titanium clasp. 
It's a well-built piece, nicely inscribed, actually hollowed out with a skeletonized Romain Jerome logo. Very well built, nicely finished internally as well as externally. It also cuts a low profile, so you feel like you're wearing a strap, not a giant clasp. Moreover, the watch features what might be the most memorable boxed set I've ever seen. I'm going to go a little bit beyond the pale here, and I'm going to take you on a little tour of my light box. And I'm going to introduce the box. That's right. For those of you who still have your trigger fingers at the ready from the 1980s, this is the actual box that comes with this particular Romain Jerome Moon Invader Pac-Man series. Now you can see the joystick and the buttons are all accounted for, but this one features a special trick up its sleeve. Almost as cool as a DeLorean. Maybe more practical. The bottom line is this Romain Jerome Moon Invaders Pac-Man limited edition one of 20 featuring this particular dial configuration and only 80 built in total is an awesome combination of modern luxury watchmaking quality content and ergonomics with the nostalgia of one of video gaming's all-time greats with an automatic unidirectional winding Swiss movement inside and a reference that needs no introduction this Romain Jerome Pac-Man from the Moon Invader series features a great double backstory that, of course, of Apollo 11 and the Moon Exploration Program, but more accessibly, Pac-Man. And let's face it, this watch is all about Pac-Man. And you can see it on our website, and if you so choose, eat it up and drive it home at watchyouwant.com.